Hey everyone, welcome to Sidetrack Adventures, this is Steve. So a few times I've tried to do videos themed around certain holidays, but it's never quite worked out. But that changes today, because we are in Norco, California, aka Horsetown, USA, and today we're visiting Pumpkin Rock. Now I've never done this hike before, it looks like it's going to be a fairly short hike, but from the road I did see some statues and everything out here to check out, so it should be an interesting hike. But let's hit the trail, we'll talk about its history, and we'll visit this giant pumpkin on top of the hill. Norco is a pretty unique city in Southern California, and it definitely stands out from its neighbors. But we'll get into that in just a minute. Right now, we're on the trail to Pumpkin Rock. So Pumpkin Rock is a big rock that's painted orange to look like a pumpkin, and you can see it from all over the area. Though, we can't actually see it right now. There are trails going everywhere through here, but I don't think we should get lost as long as we keep heading up. I do want to try and head to the statues I saw from the road first though. I mentioned Norco being unique. This whole area is interesting. The first town in this area was called Citrus Belt, and the land sellers convinced people they could grow orange trees here. But the valley was prone to frost and high winds, making it a pretty bad place to grow citrus. And I should point out, we're getting our first appearance of Pumpkin Rock up on the hill in front of us, so I know we're heading the right way. In 1920, a man named Rex Clark purchased the land and renamed it to Norco in 1923, after the North Corona Land Company. Norco is a lot different than the rest of Southern California. Clark believed that a man needed a space where he could care for his family with his own two hands on his own plot of dirt. So he refused to improve roads and water facilities, keeping the area less developed than the neighboring communities. I mentioned earlier that this is Horsetown, USA. All throughout the city, they have horse paths instead of sidewalks. And it looks like we've come to a fork in the road. And as the great Yogi Berra once said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. But anyways, they have horse paths instead of sidewalks, so people could ride their horses everywhere. A lot of places like strip malls have horse corrals so you could ride your horse to go shopping or get a bite to eat. There are even buttons high up so people on horseback can use the crosswalk. We're starting to get pretty high up the hill now. I'm pretty sure we're getting really close to Pumpkin Rock. So I think we need to take the path down rather than go up to see the statues before we get to Pumpkin Rock. All right, and here are the horse statues that I saw from the road. Yeah, we definitely took the long way to get to these statues by going halfway up the hill, then heading back down. If I would have just looked at Google Maps before we would have started, I could have seen that there was a path straight here from where we parked the car. But hey, getting our work out in today. Now I'm not 100% sure, but these horses look like they're the work of Ricardo Brissetta, who is best known for all the statues throughout Borrego Springs. And that's actually a horse stable right down below us. Alright, so let's head back up and take a look at Pumpkin Rock. And if we turn around from here, we could see it right up on the hill, and we were almost all the way up there before we came back down to these horses. Pumpkin Rock wasn't always a bright orange rock. It used to be called Elephant Rock or Elephant Butt Rock, because supposedly it looked like a giant elephant's butt. Now, I'm not normally in favor of painting rocks, but I can understand why people wouldn't want a giant elephant butt overlooking their town. They started painting it in the 1990s, and supposedly a Christmas ornament and a 76 ball was tried out before a pumpkin was settled on. And there it is. Now this trail's pretty short, probably about a half mile if you don't run around to go find horse statues. 
but it does get pretty steep here at the end. So we've made it to Pumpkin Rock, and I have to say right now the condition of it is just absolutely shameful. But we're up here, so let's take a look around. It looks like the rock is painted to look like Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I've seen some older pictures where it has a more traditional jack-o'-lantern look, but it's looked like this for at least the last 10 years. It's funny, when we were hiking up here, there was no one on the trail with us. But then when we got up here, it's like Grand Central Station. Though I guess Pumpkin Rock is on the crossroads of several different trails. You know what they say, all trails lead to Pumpkin Rock. It's really too bad about all the graffiti up here. I'm trying not to show it as much as possible so that I don't give the people who do this sort of thing any kind of extra publicity or anything. But it's not just pumpkin rock, it's all the rocks around it as well. Though I guess, at least some of the graffiti is in keeping with the spirit of pumpkin rock. It looks like there was some sort of plaque or sign up here at one point, but whatever it was, it's long gone now. There is also this small memorial up here for Norco resident Kareem Nakui, who was one of the 13 Marines who were killed in the bombing at the Kabul airport during the United States withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021. While Pumpkin Rock's pretty cool, I mean it's this neat bit of strangeness out here, what really makes the hike worthwhile is this view. I wouldn't tell people to go out of their way to visit Pumpkin Rock, but if you're in the area, it might be worth spending 30 minutes to an hour to hike up here and check this out. So we've seen Pumpkin Rock, but looking over here, I see a smaller Pumpkin Rock with no people at it. So let's check that out before we start heading down. So here it is. I guess we'll call this Pumpkin Rock Jr. Not quite as impressive, but not quite as crowded. Still get a great view from up here. And there's the main pumpkin rock. I just noticed that this pumpkin rock is crying. It's probably because of all the graffiti up here. So that's our visit to Pumpkin Rock and of course, Pumpkin Rock Jr. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.